welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So this uh, flight simulator was released yesterday. Uh, so far I have done two or three flights with this uh, simulator. Uh, there are a few things which have been different. I'm also trying to explore them. Anyhow, it's a good simulator. Obviously the graphics are really good and now in the marketplace all the planes are available. In this video, uh, I'm just going to tell you how to turn off uh, the cockpit tooltips and plus if you see all the labels of the point of interest and uh, the player names so you can just get rid of them in the settings and also plus you can get rid of the heads up display as you can see it over here in the cockpit view you have a heads up display and if you go out you also get the heads up display so it's very simple you can do it from the settings if you are familiar with the microsoft flight simulator 2020 you will be able to do it but if you are new to the microsoft flight simulator 2024 then obviously this is going to be a big deal for you so just go to the settings, press escape, and over here you will see settings. Now in the settings, you can go to this option, flight interface, and you can just turn on and off all these options. So this is uh, show the white dot cursor in free look, landmark markers, you have got city markers, airport markers, show pre-flight pins, and then you have display labels for all on-screen point of interest, show traffic nameplates. So you can turn them off. So let's go back and see. Now, everything is gone. Now within the cockpit, you will have these interaction tooltips, as you can see. These are a bit useful if you are new uh, to the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, or to the simulator. This actually tells you how to interact with the systems. So let's say adjust position, you press left mouse button and then you can move, move the mouse wheel for this. Let's say for this controller, I was getting a bit confused how to ch change it. And uh, if you go over here, let's say if I want to move the cursor between Nav1 and Nav2. So simply hold it and then with the right click, you can change it. This is, I think, just to stop the accidental clicking. And press, uh, you get all these tooltips. You can turn it off if you want. So go back to the settings. And over here, in the flight interface, you will see cockpit interaction systems lock, or you can go back to legacy and instrument name and tooltips, you can turn them off. Now you can see when I hover the mouse over different instruments, there's no tooltip coming. So that's how you can turn it off. Now for the heads up display in the cockpit and uh, in the external view, I'm just going to set these settings also. So let's go back and go to flight interface. And over here you will see the heads up display in cockpit view. You can turn it off and heads up display in external view. You can turn it off. Now you will see the heads up display is not there on the screen. And if you go out by pressing backspace, you'll also see in the external view, there is no heads up display. So this was a short video. I just wanted to make for all of you. I hope this one was useful for you. In the next few days, I will be doing some flights and I will be bringing a series of videos for all the beginners so that, you know, you can just start enjoying this Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. If you have got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.